Brent, how does this happen? What's going on? Well, it doesn't make any sense. Here's a little bit of breaking news. WLBT, and, and I'm looking at the spreadsheet now, uh, it turns out Barber has pardoned over 200 people today as he left office. Uh, over 200. And I've counted up, I think, about nine on charges of murder so far, several manslaughters um, that are in there. So it's, um, it, 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 it's turned out it's way more than the four we thought. Uh, it's over 200 people got pardons, it looks like, in the last hours of Haley Barber's reign. Unreal. A any explanation, Brandon? Yeah, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a flawed system that allows uh, prisoners to come work in the governor's mansion. And as, I, and as I said yesterday, pouring liquor and mixing cocktails and ironing the governor's shirt shouldn't earn you a pardon for murder or any of these other heinous crimes. Some on here are for arson, manslaughter, and otherwise. You know, that shouldn't earn you a pardon. And, and the governor's just flat out wrong. Uh, this, is, this is a man who has, who has talked, uh, to paraphrase another politician, he's talked like Dirty Harry, and he's acted like Barney Fife. He's turned these folks loose, and pretty much this set the, the jail cell door open uh, for these killers and other felons to go out on the street. And how one can, can argue that they're pro-life when they're, and they, he's made a big push to say that Mississippi is a, Safest state in America for an unborn child, and that and that's great, and and and, and that's wonderful. But how can you uh, be pro-life when you let people go who take other people's lives? And I think that's a disingenuous position. And there has to be reform. House Democrats came out with a strong plan yesterday to talk about victims' rights and reining in the governor's power. Uh, these are 216, I think, is a count. Pardon. Unreal, unreal. And you and you, the two words you mentioned there are so important: victims' rights.